Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new product by a new manufacturer. And this is the East to West model. And this is a 29 RKS. We're going to take a few minutes and walk you around the outside and inside of this new camper. Uh, on the outside of the camper you have an aluminum exterior. It is a little bit of black, a little bit of white, a little gray. It's got some blue in the decals. It's got a nice gray aluminum front. You have the lower diamond plate. It has a hitch light on the front. Power tongue jack with a light and manual override. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard cover. There is room to put one or two batteries on the coach. This is also built on the BAL Nor Cold Industries frame. This is a really nice upgraded frame system for an RV. You should check that out on their website. We have a pass-through storage compartment here. Got a LED light in here for your handles. Really nice finished off compartment in here. A lot of them you see all the framing and wood or aluminum tubing type of thing. But they actually took the time to really finish this off. Nice vinyl floor throughout here. The camper has four heavy duty scissor jacks on it. And it has the full enclosed underbelly. Got deep tent safety glass windows, power awning with the LED light strip. Got radius top entry door, triple entrance step, large folding entry handle. You do still have the window in the door. You can see up top, you've got an air conditioner there that is a ducted air conditioner. And then you can see the little round saucer thing up there. That is the new TV antenna style, so you don't have to crank them up and down anymore. Here you've got two outside speakers. And then you have an electric outlet down here and cable outlet here if you wanted to do a TV outside. Nicer little lids. Another nice thing I noticed on this, there's no plastic fender skirt here. This is actually real solid too. They did a nice little job here, I don't know if you could see up in there, of framing that section out just so that it would be uh, more solid and in case of a blowout or something, less likely to get damaged on those cheaper plastic fender skirts. Spare tire, standard bumper mount, 4 inch square tube bumper on the rear, pre-wired for backup camera. You have your furnace exhaust here, refrigerator access panel for maintenance, cable and satellite hookups on the back. Outside utility shower here with hot and cold water. Your city water and fresh water fill ups, and your rear kitchen drain right here. Electric slide system, nice and finished off down here. Detachable power cord. That power cord hooks up right here. And then you have a secondary drain here, which is for your bathroom, toilet, and shower. Because they are so far apart, it's very hard to try and connect them together and get them to drain properly. Water heater, six gallon gas electric water heater.
On the corner here, there is a solar prep hookup for the portable ZAMP solar panels. And some information on the stickers here, basically telling you when the campers were built, uh, along with uh, axle sizes and tire sizes. So these are 4,400 pound axles, and the tire sizes are ST225, 75, R15, 10 PR. Uh, tire pressures, 80 PSI. So just some basic information there. Also some information on who the company is and what date the camper was built. Those are on all campers along with the VIN number. So that's important to check the age of a camper when you're looking at it. Again, be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country and one of the first dealers to be selling this new brand and manufacturer. It will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Uh, my name's Ray. I am with Couches RV Nation. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. Uh, or if you'd like to purchase one, I'd be glad to sell you one. Model number of the camper. Toll-free number here is 888-417-8299, my direct extension 203. The dry weight of the camper, 6844. Going up inside the coach. Nice, beautiful coach. A lot of LED lights in here. Pretty much all vinyl floor except for around the slide out area. But a nice, good looking floor. It's got a nice pattern to it. Two pushback reclining chairs. Nice big window looking out over the uh, awning area there. Got a big U-shaped rear kitchen. Got a heat duct down there. Storage all back through there. Nice pull-out drawers. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides. It's got really nice looking hardware. Nice wood color. Plenty of storage through here. Nice laminate countertop with the undermount sink, high rise faucet, electric outlet on each side of the sink so you got place for your coffee pots and toasters and stuff. We've got the larger suburban oven here, 21 inch oven instead of the smaller 16. Has the sparker for the top three burners. Got your range exhaust, your microwave here. Nice overhead cabinet. Do you have speakers in the roof? Uh, another nice thing, they have an actual roof vent back here. I'm amazed at how many campers nowadays don't have roof vents in them anymore, other than the bathroom. So you got a roof vent back here. Nice 8 cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. This is by Dometic. A lot of metal sided campers come with a 6 cubic foot or are going to the residential style. But this is an 8 cubic foot gas electric version. So it gives you a lot of room but still works off of propane. Down below there is your propane leak detector and your electric outlet little storage cubby hole there another little pantry area here beside the fridge got nice valances pull down nightshades you have the jumbo dinette so this comes out a little bit further past the edging of the slide out gives you a little more elbow room Little drawers down here. 
It's a two-pole table holding it up. Laminate countertop on the table too. Nice decorative lights here above the table and couch, but then they also do another little light under the counter. Or under the cabinet, I mean. And you'd be amazed how many don't have that. So it does just try to help brighten it up in here a little bit more. Cabinets all the way across the top of the slide. So a lot of extra storage there. A lot of brands are going for gigantic windows, but then you lose all that storage up top. So that's a nice feature to have all that extra storage up there. Jackknife sofa does have storage underneath of here. This actually folds down. You have your electric box down there, and you've got your stereo system here. Furion television. Does have a swing arm mount there, LED HD TV. There you can see the radio there. Some storage below. Air conditioner up in the ceiling here it's got the quick cool feature or you can close it and go through the duct working got a nice look going down the hallway here fire extinguisher right by the door digital thermostat for your furnace and your air conditioner you got your power awning in and out button slide out in and out button water pump water heater on gas the electric switch is outside on the outside water heater there light switch for the living room basically turns on and off those three lights there awning light and your battery condition fresh water black water gray water conditions all right here so nice and centralized it's got some nice hardware on the door handles going into the bathroom area here matching laminate top here got storage down below have a electric ground fault breaker here a fan light switch both right here nice wood medicine cabinet Also has the upgraded turbo fan to get all that shower hot moisture out of here. So that's a really nice upgrade. Have the foot flush toilet. Heat vent down there. And there is also an air conditioning vent in the ceiling. Got a nice large shower here. And it has the nicer slide going on up the rest of the hallway here we're into the master bedroom heat duct down there below the foot of the bed electric outlet on the right side and left side of the bed got your window nightshades in here nice long hanging counters there or cabinets there Roof vent in the bedroom. Electric outlet down at the foot of the bed. So there's three electric outlets just here in the bedroom. Most have one or two. Light switch here. Got room to walk around the bed. This is also an upgraded size bed. This is a Camper King. That's rare to find in a travel trailer unless it's got a bed slide. So the Camper King, nice little upgrade. Nice and deep closet there. Emergency exit window. Got a, another little cubby down here. And then you have another hanging closet here at the foot of the bed too.
It's two lights in the ceiling, plus your ceiling fan, uh, vent here. TV hookups back here on this wall. Two lights under here. Again, just another quick RV Nation video here. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Toll-free number 888-417-8299, extension 203. Ray here with Couches RV Nation. Thanks for checking out my video.